Wow. Hello and welcome to the Bird Tales. Today is March 12th, which means that I am a terrible vlogger because I still have not put out the video of my Kansas trip. I just put out the video from the last day of the season in Minnesota. I've been very busy between work and house renovation projects and kids. I've had plenty of time. I've just had no ambition to sit and edit videos when I was done with my day, so I haven't done it. The end of the season was plagued with camera issues for me, particularly with this brand new GoPro I have. I don't know what happened in particular, but uh, the second to last day of the season, um, I had an awesome double rooster shot. One of the roosters was literally right above me. Sweet video. I watched it on the camera after it happened, came home, put it on the computer, deleted the files, went hunting, recorded over them, and when I go to open them on the computer now, they're all corrupt and I can't see them, and it's just gone forever. And it has made me so disappointed. And then, on the Kansas trip, um, same thing, all kinds of problems with this. And when you're sitting in the car with other people next to a really nice piece of public land on a hunting trip going, oh, just give me a couple more minutes, I'll get this thing working. Eventually you just say, ah, to hell with it, and you throw it on the dash and you go hunting. Um, so there was literally uh, a whole day of our Kansas trip, which would happen to be our best day where we shot our only rooster and I think uh, six or seven quail. Um, no footage of it whatsoever because I couldn't get the camera to work and I just wanted to go hunting. So that was also part of my reasoning for taking so long to edit these videos because I was just dismayed and I didn't know what I was going to do. But here I am, I'm going to put something together. So let's dive into what I have for Kansas. I got my laptop here and I frankly can't remember all of the stuff because it was over a month ago. All right, so day one of our trip in Kansas, I was with my good buddy Steven, who's been on previous episodes. Our very first spot, uh, we went to this big pasture area. It looked like really thick CRP grass from the road, but it was actually grazed pretty hard. Um, so we ended up just walking this ridge, hoping to maybe see a chicken. And uh, sure enough, we did see a couple. Um, they got up ahead of us really far chicken. the first time. The second time, they, it was a little bit closer. Whoa. I took Whoa. a couple shots, but uh, I missed. So then our second spot we went to, uh, we were pretty quick into the spot and Skip went on point. Whoa. I can see him. Whoa. Whoa. So I missed, I took out a branch instead. But those quail actually flew over to where, just about where Steven was, so he was able to walk right up into them and shot one himself. Nice. Please don't do it. Bob White. Went on the board. So then later that day, we hunted this really nice patch of tall CRP grass. And I'm saying CRP grass because it was actually CRP grass. It was all walk-in access sites. Um, so private property in CRP. We walked through the CRP grass and came to a fence line. And then on the other side was grazed pasture along this ridge. Since we had already seen prairie chickens, I said to Steven, let's just walk that ridge and maybe we'll get lucky and find a chicken up there. Well, as we were walking the ridge, the dogs are up ahead of us maybe, I don't know, 60, 80 yards, when behind me to my right, about 30 yards away, a big covey of chickens got up. We didn't, I got one. Look at that. And that chicken oh is in the freezer Lord. now. Um, I'm going to be taking him to the taxidermist oh. and having him put on the wall. I can still see him flying. 
And that was all I had for the first day. And unfortunately, the second day was the day where I have nothing. There was, the camera didn't work at all. So, so I, I don't have anything to show for day number two. So on day number three, we actually hunted a uh, wildlife management area and it was full of cedar trees and a bunch that had been cut down and left. So it was like cedar tree skeletons everywhere, which meant there was a ton of mice and Gilly was just in a mouse mood. Um, he's always in a mouse mood, but he was really into the mouse thing on this day. Okay. Come on, Gilly. Do we have to do this mouse? Thing? And he was continually pointing mice, which was getting very irritating up till up till uh, this upcoming point. I bet you he had pointed, I don't know, six or eight different clumps of mice. Well, at one point we come up to a spot and Steven and I are just trying to have fun and laughing about there. Gilly being silly and uh, hen pheasant flushes. It seems so just like, yeah, like, oh man. I think I just saw a mouse running. <laughs> so now he's pointed a bird. I'm kind of excited. A second later, he goes on point again. He's on point again. He's on point again, Steven. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got one. <laughs> oh my God, Steven. No, me neither. Fetch it up. All right, good boy, good boy. You got it, you got it, good boy. Bob. Hey, we didn't get skunk. And so we chased those quail into uh, this big planting of conifers, um, and we happened to find them again in there. Gilly, come! Gilly, come! They're right here. Come. Oh, you dropped it there. Great. There was another one right there. They're right here. We had to walk within three feet of that one. Come on. No. Whoa! I don't know, <clears throat> but it's a good spot, so. Whoa. I thought I hit one for sure. I, I One I shot at just like, I thought for sure I hit it. So after finding those quail for the second time in those conifers, uh, we kind of had an idea where they went, um, but there was only a few left and um, it was really hard walking through there. So we just left them alone, got out of the conifers and started walking around again. And Gilly went on point and Steven yelled to me, he's on point. Whoa. I didn't make it over to him in time. Steven got up there, the birds flushed and Steven shot one. Right here. Good boy. Okay, hold, 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 drop. And we saw right where that covey went too. So we went down to the area where we thought they had landed. And I mean, we searched around and around and around and around and around. And I mean, we couldn't find anything until Gilly went on point. Oh. Come on, Gilly. Yeah, 
you seriously mousing? There's quail all over in this hill in your mouse. Come on, leave it, leave it. Come on, let's go. Hi birds. You son of a bitch. So did he trick us? Did you shoot too? Oh no. <laughs> Where is it? Come. Drop. I still think he was mousing. And eventually, um, after just walking around enough, we did find more. Another good one for the camera. Gilly, Gilly! I mean, how, many, how long did we run around right here? I mean, Gilly, come! That's one. They're here, Steven. They're right here. Gilly, come. Gilly, come. Fetch, fetch, fetch. Come. Gilly, Gilly, come. Gilly, come. Good boy, good boy. Good boy, drop. Good boy. After that, um, we were planning on leaving on the third day, so we drove, um, I think, probably two hours north and east of where we were staying, still in Kansas, and hunted one more spot. But again, camera problems. Um, I couldn't get it to record any video. Skip had a really good point on a hen pheasant, but no roosters and we didn't see any quail there. And that was the end of our Kansas trip. So unfortunately, uh, the best day, day number two, where we shot the most birds, um, that was the day that I didn't get any footage of. But it was a really good trip. Uh, the dogs showed um, serious improvement. Just having quail that will sit and hold, um, we had a lot of really good points on a lot of good coveys. Um, the dogs did great when we were in Kansas. I think getting away from all these running roosters up here in Minnesota was very helpful. Um, so hopefully that keeps going and we can carry that on through our summer training and have a really good fall to look forward to. All right, that's it for my season. I haven't been hunting in weeks and I'm depressed about it and I wish I could go out. Uh, we've been doing a little bit of spring training. I gotta find some birds for sale, um, but they are nowhere to be found. So if you happen to know somebody selling some chuckers or quail or huns or something at a decent price in the central Minnesota area, put a comment down below or send me a message because I'm looking. I've also got some things coming up that are kind of a secret and a surprise right now. Um, you'll see it very shortly though. So look out for that. And that's it, that's all I got. So I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for next time. See ya.